Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlus here, and this is how to use Alolan Muck, a Pokemon that gets minimized and only has one weakness. Oh, this is the true filth, guys. I think I'm in love right now. So let's go and look at the Poison Dart typing. We don't see it that often, but it is one of the best typings in Pokemon. Only a ground weakness, Psychic Immunity, and then a solid amount of resistances. We get Poison, Ghost, Grass, and Dark. So, I mean, you can just come in onto a Psychic-type Pokemon, shut it out. You can use it to help save your Fairy-types, and it just, it just works. So, let's go and look at Poison Dark offensively. It does all right that it doesn't stand out with, like, an insane amount of super effective hits. But we still take down Fairy po Pokemon, which are common. We have something against Ghost and Psychic, which a lot of people don't generally tend to have. Then we just have a Grass... You know, if you see a grass type, you get to hit super effective. A lot of things do resist us, but also poison plays to status, which means there's a lot of other things that are going to be happening. And also with the sixth generation making it to where dark can hit steel neutrally, it's just good. We have options against everything right now. So looking at these stats for Alolan Muck, the exact same as regular Muck. We have 105 on hit points. Oh, that's already really good. 100 on special offense, so very tanky right there. 75 on the defense. All right, 105, 75, that's okay. Pretty good on tankiness. Then 105 on the attack. We are a tank, and we do good damage, and we slow, and we don't care about special attack. And that's just the muck. That's the Alolan muck. So th that's where we start to see a lot of similarities right here. So think that Alolan muck is a muck that is only weak to ground. Heading over to Serebii, we can see that that also pretty much holds true. That Alolan muck is going to be effectively the same, except it gets a stab knockoff. That's kind of it. Also, the abilities are going to be a little different as well. That Poison Touch is now a normal ability. We also get access to the Gluttony, which can be used for specific berry strategies. And then we have Power of Alchemy, which is a completely new and unique ability. That's really nice. Pokemon copies the ability of a defeated ally. So in doubles, your ally goes down. You now have its ability. Good luck. Have fun. So actually, Alolan Muck has a really rare thing going on. In Pokemon, you don't really often see that all three abilities are equally viable. We have doubles, and then we have two single strats, and depending on what you're going for, you can run everything. So with the regular muck, I would say sticky hold, very niche, doesn't really work out. Stench, you're really too slow to flinch anything off the stench ability, so it's all poison touch. But now we have some other options on the Alolan muck. Then moveset, we see minimize things, we see poison things, uh, some weird status if you want to run it. When we go to the egg moves, we can see that we can set up a curse for ourselves, so getting tankier and doing more damage. That's pretty awesome. Shadow Sneak, that's Muck and Alolan Muck's bread and butter right there. You do big damage, you finish off with priority. Also, a little bit of ghost coverage, not bad right there. Stockpile, if you want to run it, you can. Clear Smog, also going to be something unique to the Alolan Muck. So, it's, it's actually kind of weird, because Clear Smog on Alolan Muck, so we have a damaging option for that. Haze on the regular Muck. Clear Smog is actually going to be better, because it means that you can run Minimize with the Clear Smog. So, you can, if your opponent's going for setup, you can remove that, but then you just go back to freely minimizing, and now your opponent can't do anything to stop that. With the Haze, it clears everything on the field. Also, the Assurance, Dark type Stab, Doubles combo, that's pretty nice to have so that's pretty good and then we can go and hop into pokemon showdown and look into how to run the alolan muck so looking at the gluttony strategy first because this one is very common you just run big damage behind big tankiness and the confusion berry changes are super reliable right now that because we have the gluttony ability the iapapa berry or whatever berry you decide to use are going to heal you from half so you drop below half you gain half your health back so you have to KO Muck one and a half times. That gets a 150% health pool with these berries, and that's why it's just super easy to use. And they just run damage, you know. Gunk Shot, Shadow Sneak, that's a KO. Knock Off, Gunk Shot, that's a KO. Knock Off, Min Shadow Sneak, it, it, you do whatever. You can also set up Minimize. So you lead one Minimize, two Minimize. I Papa Berry pulls you into green health. There you go. Okay, the opponent misses me. Free damage. And then you two it KO off, knock. Like, that's pretty much it. Muck converts two it KOs really well. Double Gunk Shot, Gunk Shot, Shadow Sneak, Knock Off, Gunk Shot. You can do all kinds of really fun stuff. And the Knock, knock Off is going to be really nice because if they have a choice item, well, you knock it off. Now they're doing less damage. Then you finish them off with another Knock Off or Gunk Shot or whatever. Gunk Shot does have the accuracy issue, so it does have a 20% chance to miss. And you can run the Poison Jab if you want to, but Gunk Shot does open up just some raw one-hit KOs in the neutral, which is kind of crazier. Gunk Shot into Shadow Sneak combos that you wouldn't have with Poison Jab into Shadow Sneak. And then you just sit on the Minimize. Because you only have one weakness. You have ground weakness. You can have a flying type Pokemon. You can have a levitate Pokemon. You can do all kinds of things to really support the muck. And that's kind of super free right there. So look at some other things on the muck. The poison touch set is going to be the curse set. 
I like Leftovers Protect because you're going for that durability. You're going for that long-term sustain. If you manage to, say, come in on a Psychic-type Pokemon, they don't want to deal with you, or if you can force an opponent out, get a free curse or two, then you can just start protecting, you know, every other turn. After you take damage, just always protect, because that's going to give you the most out of your Leftovers heal. Now you're healing up 1 8th between hits, and over time, you know, you're going to be able to at least survive and go for that long game. If you're on the field for, you know, 7-8 turns, then that's going to be similar to having the Iapapa Berry, and if somehow you can stall it out for longer, then you're good to go. Same with the Minimize. Free Minimize, they could miss, that's free healing. Like, if they miss a hit on that Minimize, or whatever turn you're doing, that means you're gaining a quarter of your health between damage, because the opponent hits you, then you heal that turn, you protect, so that's another heal, You they miss while you're doing damage, and then you protect again. So that's gonna be four turns of healing after you've already taken one turn of damage. So the Minimize is gonna pay off huge with that Leftovers and just turn you into an amazing stall Pokemon, which is also why I like to protect, and Knock Off just works. Knock Off has a lot of PP, so you can just be throwing it out there. Also, if you set up three, four Curse, it kind of doesn't even matter at that point. So you wanna go for one or two Minimize, one or two Curse, then maybe start looking for the options, or also if the opponent just needs to have that item removed, they have a life orb, they have some kind of item that's boosting their damage, you knock that off, you don't have to worry about the KO. If they're not threatening you that much, then in their physical Pokemon, you can just keep setting up Curse. Curse Protect, Curse Protect, now you're at plus four, now your knockoff is just one-shotting things, so the rest of the coverage doesn't matter. If you have just Gunk Shot here, you can get walled out by Steel-type Pokemon, but Dark hits everything pretty reliably. So you do have to kind of worry about Fairy-type Pokemon, but because of the poison, you're not hit super effective by them. And a Ground-type Pokemon, if they're using Earthquake, you tank it off because of the Curse, and then you one-shot them with a knockoff, and that's kind of it. Also, the Poison Touch. Poison Touch just adds a little bit of stall to it. 30% chance of poisoning, well, you hit a knockoff, if it's not enough to KO them, they can get poisoned, and then you can just Curse Protect until they die. Now, looking at what you want to do with this, I was thinking no attack investment, just go with that careful nature that you max out the hit points. You put a little bit of a split, I was thinking just like high amounts of special defense investment, then the rest into defense. That way you can survive those physical hits, get a little bit of extra points out of your curse, and then just tank in the special defense because you're pretty good right there. So that's going to be the survivability on the muck. And with, your, with this set, I didn't really go into it. Pretty much max out hit points, max out attack run muck and win really well now this is not a move set on muck but showing the other things that you can run for the muck like stockpile so muck also gets stockpile which means instead of boosting just your defense you're boosting your defense and special defense and becoming even more unkillable if you're running a stockpile set i would recommend hit point defense investment with a special nature and maybe even go for the calm if you are running an infestation so stockpile toxic infestation knockoff you know you can run something like that on the muck you can also go stockpile toxic infestation minimize and then just hope you don't get hit and you just stop taking damage at a certain point while also getting really tanky as you can see we get a really good balance right here with that special defense nature into just max hit points and defense and that's when we would just run something like that now assurance is going to be your doubles option as well as power of alchemy so power of alchemy that can combo with all kinds of things we have smeargle so if you have a moody Pokemon, Smeargle can set up and do some fun stuff, you know, fake out as Muck goes for Minimize, and then Muck can protect every other turn while it's getting those moody boosts and stuff. So if you are running Muck in doubles, pretty much any of these sets, and then you can just take something off and then put in a Protect. I'd, I'd actually say get rid of the Gunk Shot, put in Protect. Even though the Gunk Shot can give you a huge dunk on the opponent, you can just play a longer tanky game, because you have another allied Pokemon. That allied Pokemon can be supporting itself, it could be supporting you, it could just be throwing down more damage. It's going to be causing a lot of havoc, so Muck doesn't have to have a pure damage pressure in double battles. Also, Normalium Z, if you stockpile, you go back to full health, and you also can use it while at three stockpiles. So you stockpile, stockpile, you know, you're taking a lot of hits, but you're getting tanky. You get knocked down into red, and then you just Normalium Z, the third stockpile, so full health, times 2.5 on both defenses, and then now you can just Toxic Infestation, start setting up Minimizes, they miss, bad things happen, and then they're getting ticked down to the damage over time. So that's just like the filth stall of being an annoyance right there. Also, going back to Power of Alchemy, I know that this is a really bad form because I just bounced between like a stockpile set, a double set, a stockpile set, and a double set, but just kind of depending on the way that you're running Muck and looking at all of its options. Like, you can run a stockpile set in doubles or singles if you want to and not necessarily have to have toxic infestation just kind of like the tankiness to the damage that you're looking for with power of alchemy you can have prankster clefki prankster anything light screen reflect so now you have light screen muck now you have reflect muck reflect muck is going to be amazing because you're reducing damage to the earthquake and earthquake is also reducing damage because it's that split damage on the super effective hit and stuff 
So you can also have all that happen. Club key goes down. Now you have Prankster Muck, Prankster Minimize. That's scary. That's something pretty bad right there. Or if you want to have Damage Muck on that Power of Alchemy, you run the Maw while. You know, you play Muck really safe. It gets kind of tanky. You set up a Minimize, you go for the Protect, and then Huge Power transfers the Muck. And now you're doing double damage, Gunk Shots, Knockoffs. GG right there. Mawile can also provide some priority with the Sucker Punch. So there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do. But let's go and look at the damage calculations just to kind of round out everything that we've learned about the Alolan Muck. And Gunk Shot, Gunk Shot does surprising amounts of damage. It's a 120 base power move that gets Stab. 105 max adamant attack, nature, shenanigans, damage, and we're almost one hit KOing a Weavile. That's kind of showing the Gunk Shot into Shadow Sneak combo. That Weavile resists that, but you still Gunk Shot Shadow Sneak, that's a KO right there. So we can find some good ranges as long as it's not a normal type Pokemon or something that's resisting us. So let's just say we have a 70, 65 Pokemon that isn't a dark type, you know, Gunk Shot Shadow Sneak, still a lot of damage. Knock off Shadow Sneak, it gets close, but it's not a guarantee on KOs. So that's kind of showing, like, Gunk Shot is going to be a big one with the Shadow Sneak. But if you are finding super effective Shadow Sneaks or super effective knockoffs, then the damage still gets pretty crazy. Like, Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks, knock off Shadow Sneak. That's going to be enough to KO. Uh, knock off into anything. Like, the opponent is just going to be in a pretty bad situation. And even then, Muck is not taking a lot of damage. Because look at this. Icicle Crash, that's a 3-hit KO after the Berry Recovery because... They're either 3-hit KOing you, which means your Gluttony Figgy Berry is going to activate, or they're 2-hit KOing you, which means your Gluttony Figgy Berry is going to activate. Like, there's there's no situation, unless you're just getting straight up 1-hit KO'd, where Figgy Berry isn't going to make you have extra health with that Gluttony. That's a pretty crazy thing to think about. So, you can see right here, Weavile, Life Orb, 120 attack Pokemon, slamming down the biggest damage that it can on a stab hit. Not really finding it. Like, the Icicle Crash does good damage, but still not enough. And if it wasn't Life Orb, or if we're, say, taking a Scarf Pokemon or something with underwhelming amounts of damage, let's say we have a weaker Pokemon with a Life Orb that's trying to do damage. That's a 4-hit KO after the Figgy Berry recovery. And then if they're frail or tanky, we can find ways around that doing a lot of damage. And also, when we get into the tankier setups, you know, with that Special Defense investment, that's, that's going to be pretty crazy. Like, we can leftovers with that special defense investment. Still going to be a 4-hit KO with the Alolan Raichu. Also looking at Pokemon like the Tyranitar. Because I'm also looking into Pokemon that have high damage but could be running Scarf. So say a 130 attack Pokemon with a Scarf. There's no Life Orb. There's no crazy boosting right there. It's still going to be... 3-hit KO after Sandstorm damage and Leftovers Recovery. If there's no Sandstorm, you know, high chance to 3-hit KO after Leftovers Recovery. But you can just survive and bulk out against these higher damage Pokemon if they have, you know, boosting damage, if they don't. And then you just win. And also we have Protect. So remember, in between these turns, we're adding another layer of Protect. So that actually gets bumped up to a 4-hit KO on the Leftovers. If we're running Minimize, that's also pretty disgusting what we can do right there. So, Muck just doesn't die, and if you're running Minimize, that, that means you have a Pokemon with one weakness running Minimize. Like, the only drawback to Muck is that it doesn't have Sustain, but there could be some really, really scary stuff. So, let's go back just for, like, the ending of this video. Pain Split. So, regular Muck gets access to the Pain Split through Tutor. If there's a 7th generation Tutor, and it allows Muck to get Pain Split, game's done. Everyone's gonna be running Minimize Muck with Pain Split because there's really nothing else that you can do to that. So there's a, there's a lot of scary things, you know. Uh, what if we just have Minimize, Pain Split, Knock Off Stockpile? That's that's kind of all you need to win battles, you know. Even though it'd be like low damage on the Knock Off, you're not getting. It's it's kind of tough because that's where you can do the Curse Knock Off set. But Pain Split is where your sustain would come in and be absolutely nuts. My idea behind the Knock Off is that the Poison Touch, that you Knock Off Poison Touch eventually they'll get status and eventually you just outstall their poison and they die the only thing you'd have to worry about are steel type pokemon you're still doing a little bit of damage with a knockoff it's going to get complicated so let's not worry about it because we don't know anything about seven generation move tutors but something to keep an eye out for with one of the just oh it's it's so good it's one of the most insane pokemon in the seven generations so if you guys enjoyed the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching